Hello. All right, so we want to give you tips on the Norwegian breakaway. We booked one for Bahamas, Florida, Bahamas, and then back to New York. But we also have booked one um, prior to that for Bermuda, then back to New York. So based on experience on two, same boat, but two different trips, we're currently on the one going to Bahamas. I mean, going to Florida, then Bahamas, then back. We're now on our way back to New York. So we stood most of the time here. Yeah, we want to give you guys a little bit of tips and to help you guys out, especially if you're a first time cruiser. All right, so number one is choosing a time to get on the ship. When do you think it's the best time to get on the ship? Um, so the first time we did it, we came um, uh, early morning before, I guess, boarding started. And so we had to wait a little bit, but it really wasn't that long. That was and about 10.30, right? I think so. 10.30. This time we got here a little later and we boarding had already started so we were able to get on pretty quickly. Um, so it, both times really wasn't a problem. Um, I think the people that got here super early had to wait the longest. So I would recommend getting, like going, aiming for like the 10.30 to 12 o'clock yeah. range. They let you choose. The first time we had it, we, we kind of, checked in early so we chose the earliest time slot for us at that time was ten thirty. we kind of waited like a week or two before the ship date so they gave us the earliest time was what was it twelve thirty? i believe mm -hmm. yeah twelve thirty. but it said it tells you that to get there at the time and if you get there early you may not be able to this is a tip you may not be able to board until after but the truth is you, once you get there, you're just going to go in line just like you, if that mm -hmm. was your scheduled time. They try to do that to avoid everybody getting there at a certain time, which makes sense. You don't want, you know, if everybody chooses their own time, if everybody knows is they're all going to get there at 1030 or 12, then it'll be mayhem. But it seems the wait time seems to be about the same as when we got the earlier set for the fact that we actually had to wait a little bit before we got on. When we got there at 1030, we had to wait a little bit before we got on the ship. Where here, um, we... We were scheduled for twelve thirty. We actually got there. What time did we actually get there? I think it was eleven thirty. Yeah, or so? it was like eleven thirty. So it was like one hour before, and we just checked in. About we waited a little bit checking in, but it was about the same as last time, and different. And then once we checked in, we just went straight on board. There was no line to get on. Um, so yeah, I recommend just uh. They say, I looked online prior to my first ship date, and um, they say that around 12, 1 is probably the best time. And I can see why they say that, because you just kind of go in. And as I was getting closer to the register, I noticed the lines were getting a little bit shorter. So I haven't been there exactly that time, but it's probably not um, a bad option either to choose around that time. Um, Pre-booking shows. Um, what I did was I pre-booked the shows. This is Norwegian Breakaway. And Norwegian Breakaway is the only ship that have the Rock of Ages from Norwegian um, Cruise Lines. And then the, what was the other one? Um, Burn the Floor. Um, I think that they are also on the getaway. But Norwegian Breakaway has both Rock of Ages and Burn the Floor, which are my two favorite shows. What about you? Um... I mean, those are the two only two shows on the ship. So they... yeah, other yeah, other than the other stuff, like they have um the magic show, uh, Mystery Man, that's pretty good. Yeah, but that's like some that wasn't on the last time we were on the boat. There was some other magic guy. So I think yeah. they do like little specials. Yeah. They probably have a different magic person maybe every time or something different every time. But definitely recommend going to any and all shows that they have. They also have the comedy group um last time it was second city but this trip it's um i guess norwegian's own comedy group called levity yeah. and they have a couple like special um comedians and they do like kind of the solo like stand-up shows and that was really funny it was really good um this time was somebody named bob kabuda yeah and nora something oh, yeah. but they uh, we didn't see the the girl yet but um they he was really we saw Bob Kabuda, he was super funny. Really good. The so, girl's on tonight, right? Mm -hmm. We might we might see her tonight. Um, the other show they have um, that you can pre-book is the um, Circuit Dreams. We didn't book that this time. We That's actually the additional fee for that one. Uh, we booked it last time. 
not pre we didn't pre book it we booked it while we were on the ship and to be honest i don't i personally don't think it was worth it what about you i mean i it's it costs money because it's dinner and a show um so you get a three course meal and it's a um it's i wouldn't say it's like cirque du soleil but it's like a acrobatic kind of show um and it's pretty cool because they do um some pretty neat stuff and you're on the boat so it's rocking a little bit so it's kind of it's impressive that they can do these stunts and things while the boat is moving um without missing a beat so it was really neat to see um i mean i'd recommend it um it is an extra fee if you miss it it's not like the end of the world but it's um you know if you have the extra and feel like you want to spend the extra it will be something to see it's pretty neat yeah the show itself is good but uh, it was 47 dollars at the time we um booked and i think it's still the same this time it's like 47 and change um i'll say this it's probably worth to see it once yeah and, and pay the 47 fine it's not a big deal it, it was nice it really was nice but it's just uh i felt like it was a little priced yeah but it is worth it for the first time maybe if you like if you like that type of show if you're not into that type of show, then it may not be worth it. I do like the the that type of show. It's just uh, a little steep, but I say the first time it's worth it. The second time, probably not. But then you could be the judge of that once you do it. Um, I just say pre-book the shows um, way before your um your ship date because they could fill up fast. However, I did notice that. Once you're on the ship, you can also book shows, and sometimes they are have availability that they may have not had prior to booking. So, just book as soon as you can, and and try to choose shows on dates that are not that, that are on the on sea. You don't want to book at the time when you are at uh, the port because you might miss out on the time. You might have to rush back to miss. To, you might miss the show. So you just want to make sure you book it while you're at sea is the best if if available. Um, times to eat at the buffet. Yeah, what do you think? Um, so, uh, on Norwegian, you can, um, it's a freestyle cruising, so you don't have to pick your time slots to eat. I know other, I've never been on a different cruise, so I don't know, but, um, I know that they have to book, like, certain times to pick your meal. So when you're eating breakfast, when you're eating lunch, dinner, whatever. Here, you can just eat whatever you want. Which means at certain times, you know, especially the buffet um, can get really crowded. So in the morning, I think, what, around 8 to Even sometimes 10? 7. <laughs> Even like a little after 7. Yeah, um, it, it can get really crowded. And not that you're like waiting in long eye lines, but if you want, you know, they have an omelet station. So that line can get really long. Um, it's just, it's it's more that there's just a lot of people going and in the morning people are groggy a little bit and need their coffee or there's kids like running around and it's just, it can be a lot at once. So I think worse than that is that once you are, you know, it, to me, that part wasn't that bad. To me, the worst part was once you get, have all your food and you're walking around in circles <laughs> trying to find a seat. Yeah. And then it's not, and it's not that you know, it doesn't take long for a seat to be available, but what happens is you're walking around, and then once one comes up, you make your round that someone else is taking that seat. So you kind of like have to wait in one spot and just, you know, hold it, hold your food and wait till somebody gets up. And especially around that time, um, again, it's not that bad. It's just, yeah, I, I'd rather just get my food, sit down like other times. That's just what it is. Any Any waiting is bad for me. So, you know, and the wait wasn't too long, I guess, but it was just that when you're holding your food and you're waiting there, it's kind of like, oh, you just want to sit down. So I recommend going really, really early before, you know, before 8 or after, what, 10? Yeah. To, to to basically get your food and sit right down without a problem. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Also, also oh. yeah, you're probably going to say the same thing I'm saying. Go ahead. Um. Sometimes, like, at dinner time or oh. dinner time, like, at the restaurants... You might have to wait for a table, but usually it's no more than 15, 20 minutes, and yeah. they give you like a little buzzer thing that. Which is cool. Yeah. You walk around, and um, especially in the, in the Oshihan's atrium. Mm -hmm. um, what I was going to say, I thought she was going to say the same thing. What mm -hmm. I was going to say was um, Oshihan's um, is one, probably other ones too, but 
particular old Sheehan's, we, we went, um, what time was it? It was like 7, 8, 7. This morning? Yeah. Uh, 8, maybe? 8. And there was no lines yeah. at all. You just went up to the counter and they sat you right down. And that's a restaurant. So yeah. you could sit down and eat versus having versus the buffet. So the, the, the con to that is that, I mean, the pro is obviously sit right down and eat and you don't have to wait in line for your food or anything. The con to that is that um, they you have a prefix menu and they give it to you. I mean, you can always add stuff to it. You go sell them what you want, but they have a prefix menu. Whereas the buffet, you kind of can just grab whatever you want, how much you want, and you know, go back for refills and without you know, at your own, um, at your own convenience. Um, so yeah, that's. So I would recommend try both. Just try the buffet. Just don't go in that prime time, and then um, try the other restaurants. They have taste sabor, uh, Oshihens. Um, now, since we're at the restaurant topic, uh, what's your favorite? To be honest, they're all kind of the same they are. food, so I don't really see much of a difference. Um, oh, Sheehan's is good. They do have good burgers, and they favorite. do, they are the only spot that doesn't have veggie burgers, so if you're a vegetarian like me, there's a veggie burger. I always ask for some guacamole and cheese on it, and it really good um for dinner also we've been going to the manhattan room which is a little more fancy restaurant but really you can go i've seen people dressed up and i've seen people a little bit more casual you need um you can't go in in like a tank top for guys no. you have to we have somebody shirt. get rejected yeah. for that they had to go back to their room and change um you can wear shorts but you can wear shorts and a t-shirt but just no like tank tops for the guys uh but their their dinner has been good this time and some different stuff. Like last night they had a vegetarian pad thai option, which was pretty good. Um spicy, right? Spicy but good. Um they also have a big dance floor and a band that plays live music. And they also have uh certain nights you'll get you'll get the cruise itinerary and certain nights they have the burn the floor cast come and dance which is really neat um it's like an extra little performance it's really good because it's right there in front of you on the dance floor and if you get a res if you make a reservation you can sit um near the dance floor and really be up close and see them so definitely that's been fun to it's do. like so good dreams you have a mm -hmm. show and, and you eat and you eat yeah not bad and it was about 30 30 minutes i yeah. actually have some footage of that and it's not the best footage because we were in the best spot but i have if you subscribe to my channel i'm gonna have a um i'll upload that video separately within around the same time frame um so my favorite is Oshi hens like, only because of the burgers i like their burgers and fry and i think it's the bun i think that's just making a burger it's the, <laughs> it's the bun um it's really good um and the fries are decent too uh manhattan room um see i've been spoiled with some really good restaurants with really good steaks so yeah. i want to say it's not the best but it's 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 tolerable it's, it's, it's doable um, I also had their chicken parmesan, but it wasn't a regular menu, right? It was like one of those. It was their, yeah. Yeah. They have like regular menu items and they have the daily special. So every day they have different, some different daily specials on their menu, which is nice for variation. But then they have their staples like a strip steak and vegetarian pasta mm -hmm. and some other things. And I, again, with that, I also been to some, some nice, fancy Italian restaurants. And mm -hmm. so to to me, it was okay, the chicken parmesan. But again, it's tolerable. Um, what else? We, oh, I recommend you getting the drink package, whether it's mm -hmm. the beverage package, part of the, you pick the two. Or if you don't have that, pick the two or more. Um, what they call it? Perks? Or mm -hmm. whatever they call that. Um, freestyle cruising. Um, I would say at least get the soda package so you could get soda because that's not yeah. part of the complimentary, um, what they give, just water, juice, or... The yeah. first time I had the soda package, because we, we choose the sail away, which don't offer the free, um, pick, pick, uh, the, or whatever they call that. But, um, this time we, we picked two, which was the beverage package and the shore excursions. Um, to which we'll talk about shore excursions. Well, wait a second. Can I say something on drinks? Oh, sure. Oh. So... One thing I do recommend is that you bring like a thermos or a water bottle. Um, no plastic water bottles because they'll make you throw that away um, when you board. But me, I like to drink water 
So, and I think most people need to stay hydrated, especially if you're on a cruise and you're drinking alcohol, you need to stay hydrated. So the thing that's hard to find is water because you only get the little cups and then you're done with it and you don't have any in your room unless you purchase their water package, which to me isn't really worth it. So bring a water bottle and then you can fill it. You just take a cup of water and you just fill up your water bottle. They say don't fill up your water bottle right at the thing itself because, um, it's, I guess, not as sanitary. But if you take a cup, you can just fill up your water bottle really easy and then keep that in your room, take it with you. If you go on an excursion to the beach or something, or if you're at the pool and you just want water, they do have water, th like, um, things uh, stationed around. So especially near the pool areas, you can get like a cup, a glass of water. Some of them in the spa, they have one that has um, lemon and like mint flavor to it. Um, so that's nice. It is around and it is accessible, but just like, you know, sometimes you want, you need water in your room, um, to drink. So definitely recommend bringing a water bottle. And, um, going back to the drink, um, packages, um, the soda package is self-explanatory. You basically have unlimited, um, soda options. Um, you do pay, uh, a small, what's that, gratuity mm -hmm. when you buy the package or taxes. I forgot what they call it, but... That's um, and then for the unlimited beverage package, you also pay a gratuity on that once you purchase that option. Mm -hmm. um, and the, for the beverage package, soda is automatically included. And also, I think they say it's up to fifteen dollars drinks, but I guess they'll tell you if, if you get a drink that's over that price. Um, so just keep that in mind. Their pina coladas are awesome, and strawberry what did daiquiri. you get? You got yeah, virgin, <laughs> virgin strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> Um, and their margarita margaritas are really good. Their strawberry margaritas frozen are delicious, and you can't taste the alcohol at all, so be really careful. Yeah, <laughs> Same thing with the pina light. coladas. <laughs> <laughs> all really right. good though. So the short excursion we did. So we picked two. We told you one was the unlimited beverage package, and then the short excursions. Also with the beverage package, just keep in mind that while they at certain ports they might charge you their taxes for that state so when we were in florida they charged mm -hmm. it was small it was nothing it was like 21 cents per 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 soda um and then 97 cents for one of the drinks she had so it was, it was nothing but just keep that in mind so when you look at your, your transactions you'll be like what's this why they charge me it's it was florida not all ports so nassau bahamas they didn't charge anything but i guess it was the u.s port um so going to the scourges now <laughs> Um, we did the, so like I said earlier, we did the, um, the $50 short port credit. So we were confused about this. It's $50. When you choose that package, just keep that in mind that it's $50 per port, not per person. Mm -hmm. So we both have to pick it. It's not like I can choose that and she could choose something different. We both have to pick the, um, the, the short excursion credit. So it's $50 for Florida. And then we, we, it was two spots in Bahamas and it's per port. So just keep that in mind. So if you if you if you order like a uh, if you get a sh short excursion that's like hundred dollars per person, then it's gonna be fifty dollars off that. So you're gonna pay two hundred minus the fifty dollars, so it's one fifty, and you won't see that until we like for example we haven't seen the credit yet. So you won't see until the final checkout. Then they'll apply the credit. So just keep that in mind. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to, don't have to go to customer service. Hey, how come I didn't get the credit? Mm -hmm. Just keep that in mind. You don't see it right away. You're just gonna see the initial charge. And they were pretty quick. If you don't, if you didn't book it um, before getting on the ship, and it's still available, you can still book it while you're on the cruise, either through the app, on the TV, one of those uh, screens they have, touch screens they have, or you can actually book it through the short excursion desk. Um, it was pretty quick. Um, when we booked it, I, I used the app, and we went somewhere to eat. It came back, and it was already on the door wa waiting for us. Mm -hmm. So it's it's pretty good. It's convenient. Um, checking your own bag. So, oh yeah, so when you, I suggest when you're ready to leave, you uh, just bring your own bag. Just uh, don't, don't. Like when checking out. Yeah. So when we get back to New York and we're checking out, we're, the trip's over, um, you, they give you an option of, um, you, you take different tags with different colors for different time periods of leaving, and the ones a little later in the morning, you can leave your bag out overnight, they'll take it, and then you leave later, uh, and they take your, you get your bag, I guess, I don't, I don't know how that works, we haven't done it, but you get your bag. I, 
we definitely recommend bringing your own bag because it's just we can and it's easier um to just take it out with you when and aim to go early that way you beat most of the lines last time we left it was, it, was it was early, early. It was early. and there was already a line it wasn't that bad but it was still a, a long longer line than we expected and um but it was an easy process to get out you just kind of you got right off the boat you know gave your id went through security quickly and you were out and it, that was it we were out i think i forgot what time it was. i think they started disembarking at eight, eight and we were out eight. at like eight thirty practically because yeah. we got we ended up getting the train home pretty quickly and i so. think we got there like seven or something yeah like that. It, it was we wanted to get there early but we were in line because obviously um they didn't actually leave until eight o'clock yeah so but definitely if you can take your own bag with you definitely recommend just doing it it was super easy so going back to shows i made a little note here um, shows to watch, obviously, my favorite, Burn the Floor, and then um, Rock of Ages. I watch it multiple, to multiple times. They will allow you to watch multiple t- multiple times. <laughs> I, lo- I love this I love this boat so much that that was one of the reasons why it came back to the same exact boat. Not just any other Norwegian boat. But, uh, yeah, Burn the Floor, my favorite, then Rock of Ages. They're both awesome. Um, another one, obviously, the um, Circuit Dreams, if you didn't, you know, if you into that type of stuff, I say it's worth to watch at least once. Um, all the comedy shows, um, they have, it was different, like she explained earlier. Um, so we saw, the last time we went, we saw um, Second City, and then this one was the Bob Kabuda, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what other shows they have? They, they I have mean, um, I, random shows. Yeah, I definitely recommend looking at the itinerary, because more than just the shows, they have, like, uh, game shows. They do like the perfect couple game show or the newlywed game show and couples volunteer and they go up and they do it and the, the cruise director Alvin is so funny, funny. and he's like really good at Thanks. it. So um, definitely recommend going to see those. We missed out on them. Uh, a lot of times they're offered at the same time as one of the shows. So we were watching the shows and uh, but they do air it on their TV. They do have yeah. like a Norwegian breakaway TV channel and um, so everything that goes on during the day they end up putting on yeah and so we've um, seen it now on TV but it would be funny to see that live and of course if you're outgoing and want to volunteer you know I guess you volunteer somehow to be on it Um, there's always stuff going on in the atrium whether it's like a game show a deal or no deal I got that on recording the deal no deal um, and I will upload that once also a separate video and it'll, it'll, all the videos I have will be uploaded <coughs> one big video, but I'll try to upload separate videos as well. But yeah, that will also be there. Uh, they also have these two singers, um, Arvin and Emily. They sing. They're really beautiful singers, but they'll do like different jazz songs. Um, they had a piano guy uh, playing. I forgot his name. Um, they do like Wii Sports. The other big thing that I love is they do uh, have dance classes in the atrium, sometimes also up at the big um, the Spice H2O, which is their like. Which I have both. I have videos of both. Um, and so they have dance classes sometimes with the cast of Burn the Floor, which is really cool um, and a lot of fun. Um, but also with the cast, I mean, the. Um, people from the staff from the boat they are some of the people that can dance and they do dance classes so, so i have the um the cha 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 dancer burn floor she's actually in it <laughs> she kept up pretty decent with the dancer um and the other one was the salsa was it mm-hmm. yeah that that was in a spice h h2o well, spice 2 well, something, something like that but um i also have a video of that i'll upload that separately but also i'll com- have that in the combined video for everything for this trip um and uh, all right so we have chosen the first time we chose the mini suite the the balcony mini suite right then the second time we uh there's an announcement going on so so talking about rooms that we booked so we chose the balcony both times um this time is the spa mini suite so we do included in our room is access to the thermal spa which is a nice little perk um, 14th floor. So then um, there's other, of course, the interior state room with no window or a room with a small window or a room with a bigger window. Um, we definitely 
recommend the balcony if you some people are a little more motion sickness get seasick or are don't like uh, having a balcony or we something like that problem, right? um we haven't had any problem it is a small balcony but um small. for us like we you know um we're not big like clubbers or partiers and it's yeah. nice to just have certain times like the there's a lot of people and it's just nice to be able to come back to your room and have it not be super small and claustrophobic because i i feel like an interior space with no window i'd be a little claustrophobic i wouldn't really like to be in my room but since we have a room that's a little bigger we have the balcony it's nice to like have a quiet space to come back to and just kind of relax and you can sit out on the balcony there's enough space for two chairs and a little table and um once you get over the you know the ocean being there and the view is really pretty once you kind of like get used to it being there it's really nice to just sit out there and listen to the water and have a you know like i said a quiet space to just relax plus you get a better sense of the day like when you have mm -hmm. an interior you don't know what time it is it's this was the same yeah darkness i think those rooms are good for people that definitely are out at the pool all day drinking going to the parties at night like kind of out of the room the whole time we're not like that you know the pools are pretty crowded um it's also you know, budget friendly so, yeah it, yeah it is also you like, know if i wouldn't mind safe. you know i personally don't feel claustrophobic i, n I never tried this i can't really give a, a, a opinion on it but all i can say is that i wouldn't mind it mm -hmm. so we we probably one day book a cruise especially if, if we want to have it on a budget and they have a good deal we might just say hey let's just go for that because i've seen it where it's like four something per person or even three something mm -hmm. like three high threes but three something for our interior room it's like that's actually not bad you know he's gonna get all the benefits and perks and just for three something per yeah. person you know less than a thousand is actually pretty good whereas the spa ministry or the regular ministry you're gonna pay almost a thousand per person so you know or more Depending on how, you, when, we, um, at the time you book it and the deal you got, but this is a typical seven day cruise, um, and it's we Actually, wanted it, yeah, seven eight days, nights. seven nights. So we wanted the balcony just to our first few times, but mm -hmm. honestly, I wouldn't mind an interior. I know you mind well, a little you. bit, yeah, <laughs> but if you want, if it's it's one of those where if you want to just. You know, hey, let's we don't want to spend too much, but hey, let's go in. You still gonna have a good time because honestly, we not in the room as much. Yeah, well, so. maybe if it was like a shorter cruise too, like a three day or a f even four day cruise, you know, a, a room a, where that stops at maybe a few different ports. This cruise and the other one we went to, well, the first one we went to only stopped in Bermuda, mm -hmm. so it was one stop, and he spent three days there and then came back. So this cruise, we were supposed to make three stops, but because of, um, they said the swell of the ocean, it's been really windy and it was a little stormy. So they said it wasn't safe to stop at their um, private island because yeah. that wasn't a dock. It was like we anchored and you'd have to take a tender to get off the boat. So they said that it wasn't working well and it wasn't safe because of the swell of the ocean. So. We didn't get to stop there so we only actually made two stops and uh we ended up getting to the bahamas early so that's how they did it we got to the bahamas early we're able to dock there so if you wanted to you could get off the boat that night um but but yeah so i feel like we've had more time on the boat this time so if you are have a lot more days at sea if you're here longer definitely you know would recommend like at least a window or something to kind of see out but definitely a personal preference and i'm sure there's a lot more to talk about but i think we had a little list here and then i think that was just about is there anything else that we thought about as we were talking or i think that was it in the meantime i'll show you the balcony and and i got i saw the i read complaints about it or saw videos about it and how people said that it was they were crit uh, critiquing and saying it was like very small so just to give you an idea Basically, you could, and you have very little leg room, but this is the top deck, deck 14, um, for regular staterooms. But yeah, it's pretty small. 
But that's all we know. We haven't been on any other cruise, so I can't really compare. But however, yesterday we saw Anthem of the Seas by Royal Caribbean and Anthem their balcony. Seas, yeah. Anthem, yeah. And they, um, it looked like they had a lot of room in their balcony. So I could see why people were complaining. Yeah, they looked like deeper. So you could have a lounge chair, actually. Yeah. So I guess that's about it. Um, Just subscribe or just stay tuned for other videos. If I decide to make other videos, maybe a tour of the room or something like that. I'll upload that separately. It's already 30 minutes. I don't want to stay too long. Um, we just want to give quick tips. If there's anything we miss, we'll probably mention later on or just randomly. I don't know. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Take care.